le fil et le homme est riche. Please stop that. It's really annoying. Oh, I'm sorry that my lust for knowledge is annoying you. Dans la maison. Just put it away. I want to talk about the film. Yeah, but imagine if we could talk about the film in French. It's about to get all cahiers to cinema up in here. Well, if the film was about horses eating apples, you'd be set. Mm, le cheval mange du pain. So what did you think of Two Days, One Night? Ah, oh, yes. Du jour une nuit. C'est magnifique. Firstly, I really enjoyed Marion Cotillard's performance. Mm, c'est magnifique. Is that all you can say? It's magnificent. C'est bon? But that's not really fair because it's not so much bon, it was more magnifique. Well, it was really good to see Cotillard portraying a really strong female character. She wasn't exactly strong, though. She was quite a damaged woman. I think a lot of films confuse being a strong female character with being literally strong. She's a real woman, a complex character, and Cotillard takes the lead with a brilliantly nuanced performance. Yeah, I really liked how multifaceted she was, because she's not just simply struggling against her employers, but she's also emotionally struggling with her sense of pride and anxiety about being shamed. She's given the humiliating task of going around all of her peers and essentially begging for her job back. And that creates an interesting flow for the picture. It should feel quite repetitive, what with her giving the same pitch essentially to all of the employees. But actually that's the film's draw because every single employee is struggling with some kind of economic problem in the background. As we drift in and out of their lives with different feelings towards each one of them. Looking at each person's individual story, toying with your empathy and your sympathy, the film makes a strong statement about how a low paid job faced with high unemployment can hold an individual to ransom. Yeah, and I really love the portrayal of depression in the film. You loved it? No, I don't mean I loved it. I mean, like, it's a really good portrayal of depression. The film quite rightly shows it as a real debilitating illness that Marion Cotillard is really struggling to get better from. Exactly. The film could have had Sandra recovering from any physical injury. Instead, they chose to have her recovering from severe depression. The film makes an important point about how mental illnesses are still misunderstood, and there's a real stigma about them that can affect your workplace. The Darden brothers have done something quite interesting by saying a lot in a whisper. They don't ram their political points down your throat, but there is quite a lot there to tease your neurons politically. It does kind of feel like a modern retelling of Russian socialist cinema. That whole workers of the world unite sort of thing, only a lot more grown up and with a less ideological feel to it. Well, it's interesting that you bring up the workers uniting, because I think this film touches on a lot of relevant social European issues. Like, for example, we're seeing a big swing from leftist social collectivism to more right-wing individualism right across Europe, and especially in France. And this film sort of laments the failures of socialism, whilst holding out this kind of nostalgic hope for the future of it. I think it's a very entertaining film and deeply, deeply thoughtful. Fantastic. I agree. And at the heart of it, a really brilliant story. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me, my duolingo trainer is Tres Tres Stricte. Le homme et le fil boivent le, 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 le.